Guys, this tutorial is pretty neat. I'm going to show you a way to get free models, just like this one, ready to be put into your game engine or in your Blender project and also have the textures applied to them, so you can get really cool meshes. First, go to the website of sketchfab.com. I created an account here, so maybe you can too. I like to go to Explore and then select a topic that I want to get a mesh of, for example, the cars and vehicles. Then in the categories, I look for filters also, and I'm going to select other must be credited, commercial use is allowed. Because that's the most popular one, these other ones don't have many models, so I select this one. I think it's only fair to credit the one who made it, and still allowed in commercial use. So just credit the owner and then you're good to go. Then you can look through the models that you like, some are paid, some are free. So click on the model that you like, for example this spaceship right here. You can have a look at it, drag it around to see if you like it, I think it's really cool. Then, go down below. Sometimes there is down a 3D model, bo 3D model button. So when you click this one, you can go to the FBX file, this is the one that we need, and click download. Now, I already have this on my computer, this example. So you have to unzip this one, and you get usually a source file and texture file. The source file is the FBX that we are going to need in Blender or in your game engine like Unreal Engine for example. And the textures we have to drag in to get the colors and the other maps, normal maps, roughness, etc. So, in Blender, how do you import this? Very easily, you can just drag it in because that would give an error. Very easy, go to File, Import, then FBX, because we downloaded an FBX for this one. Look for your map and go to source and then you find FBX. First thing I like to do is delete the light and the bulb if you're going to use it in the game engine. Otherwise you can just leave it as it is. Then this one contains many different meshes. So I'm going to click this one, A to select all, and I hit Ctrl J to join them because some models will have separate parts. For this model, I like it to have one part. So right now I can just have it in one part. Then, usually you want to add colors to this, or you can texture it yourself. In your shading tab, there should be some things, depends on the model. For example, I can look here for the base color. Click on the map, because right now it's empty, you still have to connect it up. And it's namely here in the texture files. So, for example, I want to add the base color here. You click the map right here. Look for your file again and this time hit textures and in this example it's the base color. Open image and right now you can see the colors really popping out and coming alive. So also when you go to modeling or layout, when you hit this icon right here you can see the viewport shading. And this is your model right here. Very nice looking. And if you want to add this in a game engine you can also again export this to an FBX. And this will be for my next video, which I will also link down below. So this is how you can get many free models. Now, you of course credit the owner, but you can get some pretty nifty stuff from Sketchfab into your Blender projects.